Hello from Florida. Had another great glaze firing. I'm very happy. Um, this was an order that somebody placed for what I call my chili bowl. And they wanted four. So I made and glazed in their color five, just in case one of them didn't come out right. And they really look beautiful. This is fog. It's just a beautiful gray green. Really like it. Also glazed two of the vases that I'm going to enter into an exhibit in Sarasota. They came out so nice. I'm so happy with them. This is the one that I did in uh, fire brick from the bottom to about three quarters of the way up and then chung red from the top to about there, I guess. I'm very happy. I love the colors. No pulling away, no bubbles. Just really came out nice. Same thing with this vase. The one to the right was the vase that I did a few months ago and I wanted it, the new vase for the exhibit to look the same. And sure enough, it worked out okay. I'm really pleased. That's one of the nine pound ones. Very happy. That is cream over fog. Again, I dipped it in fog from the bottom up and then in cream from the top down so there's a little overlap in the middle. And where the cream overlaps, it does this nice sort of blue. It's really pretty. And I got a lot of the black that I was looking for with that Chung Red. I did some repeat wear. This is my new mug. New shape. Thanks to Simon Leach, I'm coming up with a simpler, um, simpler shape. I don't turn the bottom, I just thumb it. The handle, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm pulling handles, laying them down, putting them on when they get a little bit stiff. I'm trying to pull them right off the mug. I'm practicing. And then, oh, and those were um, chambray over chino. Chambray on the inside, chino from the bottom up about three quarters of the way, and chambray from the top down. So that's how you get the three colors. And then this is also chambray for these wine beakers. They're really cute. Something else about the wine beakers that I like, because you cut away a little clay from the bottom, they stack very nicely. Well, I was a little crooked. But they do. They really stack very nicely. So if someone needs small wine beakers or orange juice glasses. And the little medallion, Steve Booten, when, he, when we saw his, he put his actual initials in the middle of the medallion, which is really nice. So there's my wine beakers. I got a new color. It's called Castile. I'm not sure if this camera is going to do it justice. It's, it's, like, it's like the bluest baby blue sky blue you've ever seen. It's really, really pretty. Now, this I experimented with it on pots instead of just doing a tester. So I have a few mistakes, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, this one, it dripped a little, so I've, I've realized that it, it's pretty drippy still. Maybe I, have to, maybe I have to thin it down a little bit. The color is just beautiful. Um, Take it over by the window, see if that makes a difference. <laughs> Where's the sunlight? There it is. Just a beautiful glaze. It's called Castile Blue. And then I tried it over sea mist. You can see the darker sea mist at the bottom and you can see what the blue did as it flowed over the sea mist. <laughs> I think I got a new favorite combination. <laughs> what else is new, right? The problem is I did get some little bubbles. 
so I need to work on it a little bit. But overall, I just love it with Seamist. A plus. I also um, did it over Chino, which is something that I do with many of my glazes, and the inside of the bowl came out beautiful. I really like it. However, it did pull down quite a bit on the outside of the bowl and hit the shelf, as you can see. Really pretty. I just need to, I think, thin it down, measure it with the hydrometer, and then um, maybe use a little less on the edges. Maybe it can't be a full dip. Maybe in a bowl I have to pour it in, pour it out, and then just dip the edge because it does seem to move on the chino. And then I got a fish plate that is so pretty. I hope it'll stand up there. Stay there, fish plate. Good enough. First I poured chino and then I poured Castile Blue, going sort of from the center out. In all cases, maybe three pours of Chino and three pours of Blue. And then my final pour was Sea Mist. So you can see, kind of, that this was my pour of Chino, and then another one that went this way, and another one that went that way. And then the... The green you can see very clearly how I poured it. I poured it like this way and it went down, poured it that way, poured it that way, and then the blue I did the same thing. It is so pretty in person. I wish I could capture it. Let the camera adjust. The blue over the green and the chino, oh, it's just an A plus color. Or I should say color combination. I'm very happy. I think I'll make a few more fish plates. I believe the tourists will like them. So I had a great firing. I'm very happy. A couple of experiments that kind of dripped on the shelf, but that's okay. Some nice repeat wear. A couple of pieces for the show. I'm a happy potter. <laughs> Thanks for watching.